So far we've been assuming that gases are ideal gases and real gases are not. Real gases do follow PV equals nRT but they follow that best when you're under extreme conditions of very low pressure and very high temperature. Low pressure would mean we don't have much interaction between the particles. When you put more and more gas particles into the same container the pressure builds up and if the pressure builds up enough a real gas can be condensed into a liquid. So if we want our gas to follow PV equals nRT we want the opposite extreme we want really low pressure. And the same thing is true for temperature. When you make the temperature of a gas cold enough the gas condenses to a liquid. And so in order to avoid that you would want high temperature and then PV equals nRT is going to give you the most realistic answer. However, PV equals nRT is not the only way to get calculations about gases. Another thing that can be done is to modify the variables in PV equals nRT. And we're going to account for two things. The first is the fact that gas particles have a certain volume. If you have a gas particle, let's say in a one liter container, the first particle in the box sees that the container is one liter in volume. However, as soon as you put another particle into the box, this particle would see a volume of less than one liter of available space because some of it is taken up by the first particle. And the more particles you put in, the bigger that volume is. So the measured volume of the box is too big and when we make a correction the correction term is going to be negative. Gas particles also attract each other and we're going to talk in more detail in a later chapter about this. But if you have a gas particle that's going to collide with this wall, that's what gives rise to the pressure, and another gas particle is attracted to it, that's going to decrease the pressure a little bit because it won't hit the wall with the same force as if there were no attractive forces between them. So the correction term is going to be a little bit of an increase. You put these together, one version is called the Van der Waals equation. Where here we have the pressure term and notice the correction factor is positive and then we have a volume term with a negative correction. So this comes from PV equaling nRT and we're just modifying the pressure and the volume to account for real gases. A and B are constants in this Van der Waals equation and they're dependent on which gas you're studying. So in other words you can look up the A and B factor for carbon dioxide. It's going to be different than A and B for neon or helium or argon.